Detox. And with me today, Mr. David Patterson of Lake Country Manufacturing. Welcome, brother. Appreciate Thanks, it. Dude. This yeah. is going to be fun. So, we're talking pads because we got the man, the myth, the legend of foam, Mr. David Patterson. <laughs> so, these are our force pads. Yep. And if you hadn't noticed, we co branded them with Lake Country as well as ours. So that makes them fun. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. It looks I, neat. I, I enjoy it. Yeah. So tell us about the Force Pad so that those at home know why they need to purchase this. Yeah. So the Force Pads are a, a line uh, specifically designed for forced rotation machines like the uh, Flex 3401. Right. Or uh, the m new Makita machine or even the new Rupes machine that's coming out. Anything that's a, a gear driven forced rotation DA polisher or a uh, or orbital type polisher. Um, they have a slightly thicker uh, pad to provide a better user experience. Um, one of the unique things, uh, despite, you know, everybody's going to have their own techniques, but one of the things about a, a forced rotation machine is it, it takes the best of both worlds, right? So you get your rotary and yep. your DA. And, uh, but having it as a dual action tool, uh, you can still use downward pressure and it will rotate. Yeah, so that's, keeps, that's a nice thing. It keeps rotating. Yeah, so when you have a little extra meat in there, um, you can really adjust your pressure, uh, fine tune um, your technique to yeah. get your desired result. Um, the tapered, tapered edge offers a nice precise um, point for detailed edge work or um, being precise or precision work. But then the increased bevel on it also helps the machine feel more solid. It gives a better user experience. It's not so hard on the shoulders. Yeah. And uh, between that and the thickness of the pad kind of absorbs that um, choppy feeling from a gear rotation machine that you don't find in, yeah. in other machines. Some people say it fights, them ba it yeah. fights back. Yeah, and a lot of that can be changed um, by the bevel, by the design, um, by your technique. Um, but all of those things combined is what I view as the overall user experience. Mm -hmm. So it, it makes it makes it enjoyable to use rather right. than saying, man, this pad works fantastic, but I feel like I held onto a chainsaw as I went around the car for right. three, four, five hours. Um, so I think that's equally as important or com you know, important combined with the performance of it. So um, this is your, you know, your staple um, in terms of a three pad system. The force range goes a little bit outside that, but um, for today, we're just gonna talk about these. And, and typically, if you need anything above uh, orange in terms of aggressiveness, uh, purple foam wool pad or hybrid yeah. wool. So um, one of those pads on a, on a force rotation machine works phenomenal even for taking out heavy sand scratches and, and heavy defects. Um, but this three pad system is really nice because um, it's equally as good on a rotary machine as it is for the 3401. So the orange pad is is relatively aggressive. Yep. Um, I'm sure you've used it quite a bit. I, I like uh, the orange foam that you guys manufacture is one of my favorite foams. Yeah, so. that's awesome. I, I mean, I I enjoy it personally too, but I'm a little biased. So, yeah. <laughs> um, but but what's nice about this foam is it's relatively firm. Um, it has a nice coarse cell structure. It cuts very very good. But just like we were talking about with HDO pads in a, in a previous um, video. This pad works the opposite way. So yeah. instead of staying consistent, instead of um, staying firm, as you cut and it gets warmer, the pad softens to give you uh, your maximized finish. So even though you get a good cut, you, you get, get a good, a good finish, finish too. Yeah, too. yeah. Um, and the reason it's like that versus like a, a long throw polisher is once this pad softens, it starts to move around. So you feel that in the machine on a long throw. Um, because it's a gear driven machine and it has a smaller throw, this not, outperforms a, a pad like that. So right. it's really, like I said before, really maximizing and engineering a pad for a certain machine to help give you the best results. Yeah. Um, so then after your cutting pad, you're typically, you're getting into your white pre-polymer, um, partially closed cell polishing pad. And it's, um, it finishes almost perfectly on most finishes. Um, this pad is different yep. than a CCS pad. This yep. is different than a white pad, um, a standard white flat pad. They're not the same. Uh, this foam is actually a little bit more dense and a little bit more firm. So while they look almost, almost identical, identical, they're not. They're different, yeah, yeah. And, and specifically for that 
the the force line or or our hybrid foam technology yeah um, and then black standard black foam standard black foam um, besides the shape and profile to be part of the system but it's it's perfect um, on a gear driven machine it doesn't have the same movements as a long throw so oftentimes you need a little bit softer of a pad um, and just like just like on other polishers, when you have your soft black paints, you know, some of the stuff like Honda and Subaru, soft pad. it's perfect. And, yeah. and if you don't have that, it's a, a perfect tool to apply waxes and sealants or, yep. um, or whatever your last step product might be. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's the uh, Force lineup. You can pick these up at the Rag Company. And David, thanks for coming on, man. Oh, man. Thank I you for having me. I love this. This yeah, is this so is much so cool. fun. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about Lake Country Manufacturing, you can get in touch with, uh, with them at Lake Manu Lake Country MFG.com. You can check uh, David and Lake Country out. David Patterson on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, Instagram, I'm uh, Perfect Shine Detail, but Perfect you'll find Shine me. Perfect Shine Detail, yep. yep. And then, uh, but you can look up Lake Country Manufacturing, all spelled out on, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, keep up on what he's doing. And be sure to comment below. Hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and stay tuned right here for more detox on the Rag Company YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys.